Oh, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, just trying to get his lunch and yeah, you know, wrong place, the wrong time. So hopefully everyone was all right. We got some great weather for the end of the weekend. So I hope you got some outdoor plans starting to peep the leaves up in the northwest part of the state and just about anything you can think of to do outside. It's going to be great for that tomorrow. Temperatures right where we want them to be for this time of the year, starting in the 40s, ending in the 60s. We'll save all the rain for Monday. That is when we will get some scattered showers and a downpour not out of the question. Here's a script for Sunday. We've got some clouds at times, so if you see some blue skies, don't expect them to last forever. I do expect there to be some thin high clouds at the very least by the time we end Sunday and then periods of overcast on Monday. A little bit of a gloomy day. Get the slow cooker going. Get the fireplace going. It's going to be one of those days where uh, we're just kind of inside. It's gray skies and we have some periods of rain going at times and you can see that this model giving us a red dot right in the middle of I-91 at 7 p.m. on Monday. So uh, that may or may not happen, but we are expecting there to be some isolated downpours, a rumble of thunder, not out of the question, on and off. So not really looking at steady rain potential, but some on and off rain through Tuesday morning. So as the cold front sweeps through, there will be a line of some scattered showers that will more than likely affect the morning commute on Tuesday. And that's it. Just a day and a half of rain. We're back to the sunny skies on Tuesday afternoon, and the temperatures will rebound by that point as well. I'm getting a little cooler as we get into Wednesday morning, however. As far as the rain goes, when you add up Monday and Tuesday, we're talking quarter inch up to an inch of rain. Just depends on where we see some of those hit or miss downpours. So many of us on the lower end of that range, but for some folks, an inch is definitely possible. We're expecting a little bit of patchy fog to develop overnight. You can see that this model giving us a couple of two out of 10 mile visibility for tomorrow morning. It may happen for the Connecticut River Valley as well. Uh, so very minor impacts for any traveling for tomorrow morning, but just keep in mind even a little bit of limited visibility can uh, make a deer hard to see on the road, especially before sunrise. As we go through the weekend, we got some great stuff. So high pressure, calm winds for Sunday, and then we get that warm front to bring up that moisture and the showers for Monday. Cold front comes through on Tuesday, and then we will stay on the dry side of this broad area of low pressure. It's close, but we will not get any additional precipitation. While there is some mixed precipitation up in New York, the Great Lakes region, Ontario, we will be just on the cool side, but sunny side. So it gets super chilly for Wednesday morning, but we will have plenty of sun to get those temperatures rebounded and we'll stay with dry conditions into our upcoming weekend. So Monday, Tuesday, that's the rain. That is it. As far as thunderstorms go, very hit or miss. Little to no thunder is expected through Monday and Tuesday, but you can see how the East Coast has just that pale shade of green that indicates the possibility of a downpour or thunder. Uh, but nothing more. No organized thunderstorms or strong thunderstorms are expected. Calm winds through Sunday. We love that. That makes the sun feel even better outside, but a little chilly through Monday as we have a breeze. Plus we have the overcast, right? 50s and 40s right now across the state. Right now seeing some clear skies over the northeast. We'll get that for tomorrow morning. Clear skies for tomorrow morning. 54 degrees in New Haven right now. Our high temperatures for tomorrow are in the mid 60s. Just about spot on average temperatures for this time of the year. It's going to be a great week ahead, but don't get caught off guard for Wednesday morning. Uh, it's going to feel cold outside. You're going to want to put your coat on while you're going to school or going to work. Same deal for Thursday morning. Very chilly, especially for you folks that are waking up before sunrise. Monday, Tuesday, we've got those showers and we will see a subtle warming trend into our upcoming weekend. So I like the way this forecast looks, Brian.